deep forests and flowery meadows, white cliffs and wild gorges, majestic silence and the roar of waters rushing into unknown depths. White stone and water join in eternal partnership over hundreds of thousands of years have created a magical world. But all that beauty is just a dilusive prelude to something mysterious, a prelude to the creative powers at work in the twilight underground. Such a wild transformation, as though Serenity's platform suddenly snapped, as though the ground fell, as if an unknown titanic power ripped out the earth. The majesty of nature twines in delicate harmony to bring such peace to a pilgrim's weary soul. The heart is lulled by the soft whisper of this strangely beautiful, strangely grown and leveled highland, this cast recess, one of the most stunning in Moravia. The whole area is fragrant with beauty and spring splendor. Blossoming bunches litter the colored carpet of earth. The cast's forests impress with their stillness and serenity. Look closely, Pilgrim, and you'll see a myriad of stories acting out the never-ending fight for life.
In this place where streams vanish from human eyes, the Moravian caste begins. The water roars and murmurs all around, sinking into crevices and gaps between boulders. What is hidden under these sudden drops? To where do these raging waters vanish? Herein lies the key to the mysteries under the cast, the start of strands which lead to unknown places through which the submerged cast waters have flowed for long millennia on their meandering course to Matsoka. It would seem as if all life has drained from here, but nature inhabits even these cold, dark chambers bereft of sunlight. Bats have made a home here. Until the surrounding landscape escapes the cold clasp of winter, they dream away the silence and darkness of winter sleep. So far, we have not yet uncovered all the unknown paths of the cast waters, where they merge in the depths only to hove into light once more as the Pankva stream. In the deep pool of the upper lake at the base of Matsoka. <laughs> What ancient ages look down from the moss-covered and weeping walls of the chasm? If only they could speak, of what plots and dire disasters would they speak? After all, Matsoka itself was once an immense cave dome which cracked and collapsed. The seemingly lifeless and barren base of Matsoka, shrouded in eternal shade, is the last haven of the Alpine Bell, a fragile flower which has flourished at the base of the chasm since the last ice age. Only a fraction of this underground world is open to the astounded pilgrim.
reality always surpasses imagination until Ponkva's green-tinged waters below prevail over the darkness of the enigmatic cast. Ponkva, queen of this enchanted land, she alone knows the still hidden treasures of the cast underground. For long ages she has helped forge the cast's fossilized beauty. In ancient times, powerful streams once flowed over the surface of the karst plains. Long and relentless, they swirled in the limestone rocks until they hollowed out the deep gorges. On and on, they ground into the depths of the rock massive, where they found new underground paths. Today, but a fraction of these cast waters can be seen on the surface. Most of them flow underground. Thousands upon thousands of storms have raged over these lands till many rock caverns have surrendered their secrets. The shades of prehistoric ages when cave bears, hyenas, and even lions took up residence, and the plains were crisscrossed by reindeer, horses, and aurochs. That's when modern humans arrived. They were not the first or the last to settle here, but they were the first to leave us a tableau of their lives. Silence and solitude reign over these deep ravines to this day, as if all the magnificence of nature gathered here. Perpetual moisture awakes a plethora of the rarest flora. Unpredictable are the works of nature. Even the sedentary stone sea on the brink of the wild ravine is adorned with flowers rising from the barren ground. Where the dark cast gorges end, the precious world of the dry steps grow. For a multitude of flora and fauna, 
these places are their last, best refuge. They are not to be found further north. Now and then, droplets of water refresh the withered grasses and the grey rocks. But even in the driest of all places, nature conjures carpets of multicoloured blossoms. Once humans entered the karst, they stayed for good. They discovered the wealth of this remarkable land. Many of nature's gentle powers must synchronize perfectly before female bats bring another generation into the world. A month after birth, young bats are almost indistinguishable from mature bats, and they are preparing to take flight for the first time. Their mothers will stay with them for a long time to come. They will enlighten them in the social intricacies and teach them to understand the land which will ever be their home. Many sinkholes in the Karst Plateau have led explorers into unknown underground passages and domes. Yet others guard their secrets to this day. There are still places where no mortal has set foot, no hand has desecrated them. Is it possible to uncover all the mysterious niches of nature's domain?
meadows blooming with meadow saffron welcome in pending autumn. The fruits of nature born of the powers of creation. All that lives slumbers. Before frost and winter grip the land, the bats find new life partners. Only then do they settle to sleep in the silence and solitude of secluded caverns. Thus ends nature's cycle in the remarkable realm of rock and water, the realm of time fossilized, where millennia pass measured but by drops of water. Passing humans are but a whisper.